Hello, in this video we are going to announce the result for the eVTOL design competition. Even though it was the first such endeavor on this channel and the very first online challenge of its kind, we had a healthy amount of entrance. Watch this video till the end for the prize detail and to find out the winner of a surprise category. Overall, we had 14 entries. Some of them have gone out of the way in producing detailed 3D CAD renders of their aircraft. Firstly, a shout out to all those who have participated. Every aircraft was impressive in its own right. Avanish Gopigar presented the Supra. Kaya Mohyuddin presented FARC-1. Estrata Subuya with Maruta EV-1. Thomas Witcher with Wasp. Alaya with Revlon 6X. Arjun S with Dart Hawk. David Sebastian Matamoros and Juan Sebastian Escobar jointly presented the Kimbaja Nitidissima MK53. Stepan Buryukov entered with the Nagibator 2000. Jose Rivera shared the design for the Hopper. Dennis Arens with the Wing Disc. Carlos de la Torre with the Thresher. Simon Deviates Hummingbird. ZS by Rob, I Fly by Scott Tutor. Thank you all for your participation. For each of the aircraft, the performance, practicality, safety and novelty was gauged. Now let's have a look at the winners. The number four position goes jointly to four entrants. We have the design by Alaya M, the Revlon 6. It has six ducted tilted fans out of which two ducted fans work as elevators. The remaining four duct rotors are wing embedded. At fourth position, we also have the Thresher by Carlos de la Torre. This design uses three pairs of coaxial rotors, two on the wingtip and one on the empennage. It has to be mentioned here though that while wingtip rotors have a definite advantage in cruise, but in case of a rotor loss, it does cause control problems and hence this configuration is not used. However, with propulsion on the empennage, the aircraft could just use that and switch off both the wingtip rotors in case of emergency. The FARC-1 by Kaya Muaddin is an aircraft, the beauty of which lies in its simplicity. It has a tandem box wing design and the tilting rotors pivot on a rod that passes through the center of the box wing. The aircraft has a compact footprint of just 6 meters by 6 meters and yet has a 12 square meter wing area. The final aircraft we have selected for the joint fourth place is the ZS by Rob, which is a very lightweight material aircraft similar to the human powered flying machines. Although for mounting the heavy components it does use heavier structural elements. To save weight it uses an acrylic canopy. There are overall five rotors. The two rotors in the front of the wing use linear actuator to tilt upwards while the rear rotors tilt downwards. At the third position we have the Hummingbird by Simon D. Weert. It uses canons with high aspect ratio wings. The fuselage is an ellipsoid shape similar to the Celera 500L. The most unique feature of this aircraft is a tilting tail. It is a well designed aircraft with each element having plurality of use both in hover and cruise. At number two, we have the Kimbaja Nitidissima MK53 by Juan Sebastian Escobar and David Sebastian Matamoros. In their very elaborate and articulated drawings and video, we noticed seven rotors. The aircraft has a twin tail with a boom that connects it to the main wing. There are four lifting rotors mounted on the boom. There are three additional tilting rotors, two on the front of the boom and one at the rear. And finally, at number one, we have the Wasp by Thomas Witcher. It has got the sleekest aerodynamic design among all. It has a canard and a swept wing configuration. The wing tips are capped by end plate type winglets. Its footprint is also compact with a wingspan of 6.6 .6 meters and a length of just 4 meters. The fuselage is also a lifting body with the rear propulsor providing boundary layer ingestion for enhanced aerodynamics. The surprise award we have this year is for innovation and out-of-the-box thinking. This goes to Stephen Bergukov. 
He has come up with a brilliant tilting body single box wing design. The wing itself is a strength adding structural element, giving the aircraft an extremely compact footprint of just 3.6 meters by 5.4 meters. So there you go, those were the winners and they will be contacted with the same email address that was used for submitting their design. We did not announce it before, but we have decided to award the fourth position holders a prize money of $50. Just to recap, the third place prize money was $100, the second place prize money was $200, and the first position will get $300. The award for most innovative aircraft is $100. We hope next year there will be greater participation. Those who couldn't win this year can try again and take heart from the fact that they have participated in the first ever competition of its kind. And with this, the video is concluded. Thank you for your attention.